What is up everyone? This is the Phantom 0288 here and I haven't done a vlog in a while and if you have returned from uh, before, you probably noticed I've lost a lot of weight. Um, I'm, I'm, this shirt is really big on me. Um, so I've been dieting and I'm actually having uh, weight loss surgery, gastric bypass, next month. Uh, I'm going to talk about that more at the end of this video, but first and foremost, um, I wanted to make this video uh, because uh, I wanted to talk about the Nintendo Nindy Showcase that happened earlier today. Uh, I just got some notes written down. I just watched it, um, finally, and I want to share my thoughts with you guys. Uh, I want to talk about uh, some current games I'm playing, uh, some games I'm reviewing, and some other stuff, and then I want to talk about some... Uh, channel related stuff at the end of the video so let's get right into it with the nindies showcase so i got some notes here let's just go through this really quick um hyper light drifter so uh looks really cool i said it reminds me of songbringer if you haven't played songbringer it's a um kind of rpg game where you um uh, go through dungeons now obviously this isn't exactly the same but the graphic style reminded me of the same so that's why I wrote that down uh, it comes out September 6th I really was interested in it um, looks like you have like so a sword or guns or something I I, I really uh, got to go back and actually check that out again so I will probably later on uh, Towerfall uh, I said it looks like an 8-bit Super Smash Brothers I really liked it uh, I think it was for four players. It's made by Matt Makes Games, uh, same developer of Celeste. Speaking of Celeste, uh, Madeline, uh, the protagonist of um, Celeste, is going to be in the game as well as her alternate kind of self. So that's really cool. Really excited for that. If I didn't mention it, that'll be September 27th. Uh, then we have Treasure Stack. Um, looks like a puzzle game. Uh, it looks pretty kind of cool. You get to pick from different characters, uh, and it's uh, kind of a, looks like a match three kind of puzzle game, similar to like um, I don't know, uh, Bejeweled, something like that. Um, so I don't know. I might give it a shot. I, I do like puzzle games. I play a lot of Luminous. I play a lot of Tetris. Um, those are like my quick little games when I'm kind of on the go and just need a quick. Uh, time waster for a few minutes, so that's a uh, go-to for that. So I'll probably play that. That comes out on uh, in October of 2018. They don't have a specific date, but we know it's in October. Uh, Zarbot. I think that's how you pronounce it. Zarbot. Uh, I just put boxes with laser beams. There's a, somehow there's a banana involved. Um, eh, looks cool. Um, I don't know. Uh, I might play it uh, for sure. Um, it says comes out uh, sometime in October 2018 also. I, I think I might have got confused or I didn't put the date down for... Okay, so wait. Zorbot comes out October 2018, um, I believe. Uh, and Treasure Stacker... Treasure Stack, I don't have a date for. Okay, I'll have to go back and find that out. Anyways, uh, then we have... Man Manico's Night Market. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, looked really adorable. Uh, looked like an adventure game where you play as some girl. It's very Japanese-esque. There's cats everywhere. Um, I, I don't know. Might play it. Some. It looks cool. Looks cute. I don't know. I'll have to give it a shot. Maybe I'll, I'll have to reach out to the developer. Maybe see if I can get a review code for that one. Um, then we have Samurai Gun 2 comes out early 2019. Uh, I said it looks awesome. Reminds me of Celeste mixed with Mega Man and other kind of action platformers. I don't know. Um, looks cool. There's a multiplayer mode uh, where you beat the crap out of your friends. I I don't know. Look look promising. I'll give that a shot. Uh, it's just early 2019. Then we have Battle Age or Bullet Age. Sorry, Bullet Age comes out in November 2018. I said platformer action game I, I i want it that's all i put um the world next door comes out early 2019 it's a puzzle battle game um story based i'm not too crazy about this one but i'll i might look into it i have to do some more research on that one then we have level head uh 
early 2018, I said it basically as Mario Maker, but without Mario and other stuff. So, if you're into the sadistic level making and want to torture other players, this one's for you. Until we get Mario Maker, that is. Then you can go back to torturing people with Mario levels. So, um, King of the Hats. Early 2019, I said it's a party game, looks fun. I might play it. I'm not really too much in the party games, but we'll give it a shot, maybe. And then I put Unlisted Goose Game, early 2019, and I just put Laugh Out Loud name. Uh, I really wasn't paying attention because I was laughing at that. But um, from what I gather, it, you're chasing around a goose around town. I don't know exactly what the game is, but uh, early 2019, if I didn't say it already, and um, I don't know, I'll, give this, I'll have to give that one a shot. And then there was a few other um, games listed. I believe Bastion was included in that, uh, a few other titles. Um, but I didn't really catch that part because it went by so fast and I was writing some other notes down at the time, kind of like jotting down uh, stuff I remembered. Uh, I also put at the beginning, which I didn't even mention, I said, Kirk Scott, uh, not Reggie fils uh, I actually kind of liked him. You know, he, was good. he was a good host for that 15-minute little Nindy event. So let's talk about the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, this has got the grip I mentioned in the pr pr uh, previous video. Really like this grip. Makes it really nice to hold the system while it's on, uh, and I'm playing with it, of course. Um, so let's talk about what I've been playing lately. Uh, I've been playing 2064 Read Only Memories Integral. Really, really, really love Read, -O -Me Read Only Memories. Um, Read Only Memories is great. And there's the thing right there. And then I've been playing Out of the Box quite a bit. Um, I have a few episodes recorded for that. I just got to go back and edit them. Uh, I have episode one right up now. Up right now, I'll post uh, a link to that in the description below. And up, I'll probably have a. I think I can still do like thumbnails or captions at the end of the video I might return to doing that so you might see that at the end of this video this is all kind of things I'm thinking about doing in the progress of making this video right now a lot of stuff I do on the fly just just going with it so uh, what else have I been playing um Monopoly for Nintendo Switch I've been playing a lot of Monopoly um I don't know why uh, but I, I like Monopoly, so there's that. Uh, what else? Uh, Rocket League. I've been playing a lot of Rocket League. Uh, there's a new update coming out, I believe, if it's not already out right now. I did post a press release of it on my blog, but I can't remember. Uh, Sonic Mania I've been playing still. Um, Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap. I've been playing a lot of that. That's a great um, kind of remaster of an old Sega Genesis game, I believe? Yeah, I believe it's a Genesis game. Uh, don't quote me on that. And then, last but not least, I've been playing Battle Chef Brigade, which I picked up recently, and I love that one. Battle Chef Brigade is a lot of fun. Uh, if you haven't played Battle Chef Brigade yet, uh, basically it's like a hack and slash mixed with a match three puzzle game mixed with like a kind of I don't know, graphic novel game. It's pretty cool. I like it. Oh, yeah, and I've been playing FIFA 18. So, I've been playing FIFA 18. And, oh, also Aegeus Defenders. So, there's that. Um, which is like a power defense platformer. So, kind of cool. I think it's Aegeus or Aegis or I don't know. Anyways, so that's about all I've been playing as we speak. Um, there's, there's so much good stuff on the eShop right now. And, I mean, I mean... The the amount of content that's coming out on a weekly basis is insane, guys. The Nintendo Switch is a gold mine right now. If you if you have one console that you can purchase right now, I would say the Nintendo Switch would be it. Now, I'm not saying the Xbox One and the PS4 aren't great systems. They are, um, but the Switch is the way to go. Not only is it home console first and foremost, but it's a handheld and the eShop for some reason not loading for me right now, so um, I was trying to go into there. But I mean, um, first and foremost, it's, 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 it's a home console and then it's a portable. I mean, I don't even really play it portably too much, 
but you know it, it's great to have the versatile versatility to take you wherever you want. It, it's it's awesome, guys. I love it. So there's the switches. The switches my go-to and the system I recommend. Um, and I mean, come on, the the Joy Cons are great. You can you you have two controllers out of the box. I mean, come on, that's that's great. It's 299. I think it's a great price. It's a great bargain for what it is, and I, I have nothing bad to say about it. So, um, Switch is a great, great system, and I, I recommend picking it up if you haven't already. If you've got the money and you're looking into picking up a new console, go with the Nintendo Switch. You will not be disappointed. Also, um, in a previous video, I recommended this case. This case came with that grip, um, which is right here, and uh, this is a great case. If you're going to travel with the Switch, you want a good case. Just, just don't risk, you know, dropping it, damaging it. Don't put it in a bag without a case. This case cost me with the, the with the grip and everything else, forty bucks, and and this is well worth the price. It's hard, gives some protection. Really, really love this case. So, um, what what else is going on? So, um, I want to talk about the uh, my upcoming kind of plans for the uh, channel okay so if you go to the front page the home page of my YouTube channel right now and you haven't been there in a while you're gonna notice something's very very different um, first and foremost there's a new uh, logo um, which is Nintendo switch themed I really liked it and I, that took me maybe 20 minutes to make that logo it wasn't really hard um, so there's that uh, and then I built a new banner so you'll notice at the top of the page, there's a new banner that's Nintendo focused. You got Kirby, Pikachu, Mario, and Link on there. Uh, simplistic, just it, it, probably temporary for now, but it's there. So there's that. Um, now, um, I have been thinking about it for a while, and I did want to mention, I did start a Patreon a while ago, but I haven't really been pushing it at all. But I, I do want to start a Patreon community. So if you would like... Uh, I will post the link to my Patreon in the description below. It's also going to be in the thumbnail at the end of the video. If you would like to donate, it's a dollar. I will uh, post your YouTube channel, your Twitter, whatever you want in the um, end of each video. I'm going to do a credits kind of roll, um, like a traditional you know, credits at the end of a film, something like that, uh, that will have your name of your YouTube channel, whatever you want it to be, I will, um, put it in there, um, there's other, some, there's some other tiers, um, I do want to have a producer tier eventually, but I just don't know what incentive I can really give right now, um, but let's just be, let's just face it, I'm working with a computer, a laptop that's like five years old to do editing, it's on its last legs, and I think it's going to die soon, um, so if it does, that means no YouTube videos until February when I get my tax return back because I'm basically uh, living paycheck to paycheck right now. I mean, I do have a savings, but I don't want to blow it on a computer and stuff that I when I that I don't need to spend it on really realistically. So um, I also need to upgrade a mic, my microphone. Um, I'm using tr traditional. Um, mic, vocal mic right now, it's, this is mic, I'm not even using this mic right now, I'm just using my phone, um, and this mic's great, sounds great, but I do want to update to a more professional studio mic, and that's going to cost money, um, I would like to do more giveaways, um, be able to do more reviews of games, um, be able to just give back to you guys and entertain you guys more, but... Um, it's really hard to do that when money is uh, is an issue. Um, I'm looking into sponsorships eventually when I get a little bigger, but we just hit 1,000, um, and right now I'm just focused on um, growing this channel, and I'm not really too worried about the money and stuff, but you know, um, it would be great to upgrade the equipment and, and give back to you guys more. So if you would like to, it's only a dollar, and that dollar will go towards saving up to um, to uh, purchase new equipment to benefit the channel, to make better videos, to go towards editing equipment, uh, a new studio mic, maybe some lighting. I've thought about a green screen in the future, uh, a new capture card. There's just so many things I would like to upgrade. 
because um, I'm working with a older Elgato. Um, I would like to upgrade to the Elgato HD eventually, at the one of the, the six frames per second, because I'm working with one of their older models that, and uh, that I've had for a few years now. So you know, um, I, I've already upgraded stuff. This is the second capture card. This is the second microphone. This is um, I'm still using the same monitor I've been using since the beginning, and it still works perfectly fine. Uh, it's an L L E D um, monitor TV, well, it's TV primarily, but um, I'm using that. So um, yeah, so there's just a lot of stuff I would like to do, and Patreon will help with that. So if you're interested, you can support me on Patreon for as little as a dollar, and I will uh, thank you in every video, and I will be your best best friend. I promise. Not kidding. I will be your best friend for real. So, anyways, uh, if you got to the end of this video. We're almost 15, 18, 16 minutes in. I can't even count time right now. Um, next month, at the end of September, I'm having surgery. If you didn't hear it from the previous videos, um, I'm having gastric bypass. Uh, so let me just be clear. Um, I most likely will be fairly inactive uh, from the end of September till about the middle of October. Uh, if I do post a video, it's just going to be a quick channel update. Uh, I don't intend to do much editing because it's time consuming and I just really want to relax and, and start adjusting to um, my new uh, kind of uh, eating habits and new workout routine and I want to kind of just develop a new routine. Uh, and I have to just sacrifice a few things. Um, that doesn't mean I'm abandoning YouTube but for the next, like, month after surgery, but I will be cutting back. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. And if you guys want to post in your com the comments below, um, you know, words of advice or just a, you know, I hope everything goes okay, you know, that's appreciated. And I read all those and that means a lot to me. So, um, yeah. There's that's about all I want to talk about right now, guys. Um, so if you made it to the end of the video, congratulations. I rambled on longer than I wanted to. Um, so I'll see you next time. Until then, I'm out of here. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.